what is up everybody it is Johnny um, today I'm gonna do a video for Elvis to coincide with the new Elvis Presley uh, live 1969 box set coming out containing 11 shows 11 disc of him in Las Vegas returning to the stage 50th anniversary so today I thought I'd show a book that goes uh, very appropriately with it um, so I'm gonna give you some I'm gonna flip through this whole book for you guys and this guy right here is actually going to be involved with the new release. So I'm going to explain right now. So this book is called Elvis Vegas 69. It came out on the 40th anniversary of him returning to the stage in 2009. This is a book by Ken Sharp. Um, he did this book. You know what? I always wanted this book. And um, I was finally able to acquire it very recently. I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to try to be quick and brief because... I really don't want to go longer than 20 minutes to show this book. This is a lot of pages. So it's 205 pages. Um, I got this book off his website. And let me tell you how. I think a lot of people think this book is out of print. So maybe I can help you get a copy of this. So if you guys are familiar with an Elvis-based uh, fan website, gets a lot of good news. It's called Elvis Information Network. It's a great site. You should check it out. I'll try to put it on the in the description of this video below. Um, recently they interviewed Ken Sharp and they were talk, asking him questions about, you know, Elvis and all that stuff. And the question came up about this book. They say, are you going to republish this book? And he said, no. He said that this book is, um, would be expensive to republish, but he said he still had some available. So I read that. And so I, and he gave his information to his website to go check it out. Um, and the price was $50 and you get it directly from him. And if you want it, he can autograph it for you, too, um, inside. So I looked it up, and it was still some available, and I was able to get mine. So I was very excited to pay $50. I think it was like $10, 5 or $10 shipping. But it's totally worth it, because I've been wanting this book for the past 10 years. So I finally got it. Um, I think a lot of people, like I said, I think a lot of people think it's out of print. They get it on eBay. It goes for a lot. So I'll try to put the link to his website, too. I know it's called KenSharp.com. Um, I know if you scroll down, though. If you see an image of this book, click on it, and it'll give, and then you can email him um, that you want this book, and he'll see if it's still available, and you can tell him he can sign it for you too. So I want to get right into this book in a second. So here's the front, okay, and here is the back. Awesome imaging, good stuff. There's a spine. So. Let's get into this book. I hope you all enjoy this. So let's get started. So we have a lot of pages to cover. So we got this. A magic C. I got him to sign it for me. It says to Johnny TCB Elvis Forever. Best wishes, Ken Sharp. And I know he's involved um, with the new release. I think he does like Lanier Notes or Essay or something like that, um, which I think is very appropriate. So this book is basically about the whole time of him returning to the stage. And these are all the people on this, this cast. These are some of the people there's quotes for in here. And and I think some of these people he did interview, but then some he took from other sources, other uh, books and maybe newspapers or even film. Who knows? Um, I, it's not just people he interviewed himself. And he took photos from many different sources. Here's the introduction. took photos from many different sources I think like from magazines and different photographers so it's really really cool really cool oops this first one's called Hollywood Heartbreak it basically talks about Elvis you know being stuck in Hollywood throughout the whole 60s and doing those you know crappy movies a lot of them were crappy anyways here's a little montage of photos of him in the movies really out of all these movies this was probably the best one so I know this is spin out Paradise and Wine style spin out. Fever Las Vegas. That's Tickle Me. Clam Bake. Tickle Me. Clam Bake. And this is a picture of Live a Little, Love a Little. For a photographer, for a publicity shot. And then it calls, talks about right here Resurrection. Um, the 68 Comeback Special. So there's a lot of stuff to read, too. You guys see you have stuff from Steve Binder from the special. Um, so I'm sure it just talks about the special. I haven't read this whole book yet. I just started reading it. Um, here's an old singer ad. 
Actually, I want to talk about this real quick. So, I have this Singer ad. It appeared, this particular one, it was two-sided. The other side of it was just advertisements of, like, vacuum, like, different products from Singer. Um, actually, my boss at work, he collects Time Life, or, or Life magazines, I'm sorry. And this appeared in November of 68 issue, right before the special aired. And I told him it appeared in there. He went home, he had a couple of copies of the magazine, and he gave it to me. Maybe I'll show that on here. Um, I want to get it professionally framed. Be cool. I just like old advertisements. So, like I said, I'm going to try to be pretty brief. This is a big book. And you'll see that the pictures in here are beautiful. So, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of... You see all these different quotes from people? Priscilla. So this is all... And a lot of these photos we've seen before but you know what it's cool to see these photos in such good quality and to see them all together because it makes sense it really does but, and then this here's newspaper clippings um talking about him going to be playing vegas some of these go as far back i think it was december of 68 or january of 69 so they probably planned it pretty quick Here's an international hotel, the backstory um, about it. Looks like they interviewed people maybe who worked there or who were executives, maybe. Old advertisements. Pretty cool. Good stuff. Still have a sign in the contract. Oh, by the way, I'm doing it this way because I have like a new tripod type of thing. For my iPad, so trying to set this first time me doing it with it. From now on, when I show books, I'll probably use this. So, all right, and here's when it opened. Miss Barbara Streisand was the first person who played at the International, and then Elvis. She paid, played for the, uh, the first month, and then Elvis played for the second month. So, pretty cool. Contacting the band members. So here's all the band members. Some band members. Um, people and people who worked in like Jerry Schilling. I know um, there's a few people that passed away who were part of his group. I know. I think actually the one of the main ones. I think John Wilkinson is the only one who passed away. And here's a picture of the Sweet Inspirations. There's Sissy Houston, who's Whitney Houston's mother. And these two are passed away now. Um, I think she's still alive. And she left very early on. I want to say in 1970, like during August 1970, during the engagement, that that's the way it is engagement. She left really to start ra you know, raise a daughter more. These two passed away back to back, uh, uh, Myrna and Sylvia. And Estelle, she's still alive. Um, it's crazy, and even all the other members, a lot of them passed away. But there's been many members of Sweet Inspirations. Yeah, there's Myrna Smith. And she was also married to Jerry Schilling. So, so you got Sissy Houston. So he was probably able to inter uh, talk to her if he did before she died, but she, I think she died in 2010 or 2011. Marty Lacker, he's passed away. Um, Gordon Stoker has passed away. I mean, so many people from the Elvis world are gone. It's just... It really sucks. It kind of it kind of sucks in a way, you know. I mean, it's just part of life. You know, everybody people die, but yeah, there's John Wilkinson. So he's, he's passed away too. Sonny West is, I think, is gone. Yeah, he's gone. It's just crazy how many people are passed away now who Elvis worked with. But then again, you got to think they're in their seventies and their eighties now. These people. So I'm gonna try to go past these really quick. Save time. Dressed to thrill. There's some stuff from Vegas. Match thing. Match pack. Metal plates. This is what made probably the advertisements. Postcards. Now through August 28th. That's really cool. I like seeing old advertisements and old things. Oh, 
this menu. Or else maybe a photo book. The main event. And some of these are pictures from other seasons like this one. To just give an example probably the way it was. You know, that's one piece I would like to have. It's the first uh, Las Vegas menu. It goes for a lot of money. I, I seem to go between like four to six hundred dollars. I mean, which makes sense. You know, protecting the king. So I guess I talked to a security guard of some sort. Maybe this guy. Him. I mean, he looks pretty badass. Look at him. <laughs> uh, dress rehearsals. You know, there is no pictures of. Elvis during his dress, dress rehearsal. I wonder why. I mean, it's gotta be. I wonder, I wonder if there's something out there. And here's some photos flashing back to when he first played Vegas. That's cool. Which, he wasn't ready for that town, probably. And, and they weren't ready for him. I think it was just too early. So, you really, you play Vegas when you get established and you're older. All right, here we are, opening night. Cool. There's the marquee. And I like to see who else is playing there. Like, you know, Ike and Tina. Were, Tina Turner were playing there. It's really cool. It says opening night, July 31st. Um, and, you know, some of these photos, I question the dates. They all say opening night. Well, it, almost all of them say opening night or once of a certain date. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me because it's just cool to see these photos. I mean, if they are opening night, great. But, I mean, I just sometimes I wonder. All right, and this is another piece of vinyl that's very, very rare to find because you only got this if you went on the opening night, I think. Um, this is a vinyl box set um, that they gave to the people that were there the first show um it's a little ha it's like a box set lift off top box set it's like that and it contained a 68 special album his from elvis and memphis album and it had like little these little photos and a catalog i want to say it had a calendar in it too and a little letter saying oh welcome to the new hotel hope you enjoy and all that so cool You know, this is one of the shows I would have loved to see now. This one says August 1st. Maybe that was a midnight show he played. Or a dinner show. Um, this is one of the times I would have liked to see Elvis. I mean, I wish I could go back in time and see certain people in concert. And of course, I would love to see that first concert. To see how he was. He, I mean, knowing now, he probably was a nervous wreck, I would think. But of course, he came through. But... And another concert I would have loved to go back in time to see was probably one of his charity shows. Um, probably the one at Pearl Harbor. Either that one or that Memphis show he did in 61. But. Oh, look at that. He had, he had a special gold mic um, given to him to play. And I remember that sold an auction. They sold an auction in recent years. I know that. can't remember how much, but I know it was like a crazy crazy price and that's another reason how you can tell if they're opening night or not honestly by looking at his mic this was a lot smaller maybe we'll see it in one of these photos there it is right there actually in the white jumpsuit see that little gold mic and see the regular mic so they probably gave it to him after sometime after his opening night I would think I've seen a couple images of what the box is going to look like. I'm not sure which one it's going to be, but I think it's going to be this image. Because I saw another image before, and now they change it to that, so I guess that's what it's going to look like. You have no idea how excited I am about that box set, because it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's one of the few things that are left, you know, officially that RCA recorded concert wise in the vaults one of the periods is really only I think the one of the main things that are left us Elvis on tour of 70 on 72 and I don't know why they keep skipping over that I mean 
It's the same year was the Madison Square Garden. I mean, he was still in good form. But for some reason, they just keep skipping it. But I think the 50th anniversary, if they don't do it then, of Ellis on tour, they probably will never do it. So we probably got to wait till like 2022 for that. They gave us all the stuff from, uh, that's the way it is. So that's good. And the official shows from Madison Square Garden. So they covered all the major things. Oh, we're probably going to see a deluxe box set of Aloha from Hawaii, I would think. Um, in 2023. Probably like a big box set, like 60 a comeback with everything together. And probably on Blu-ray. So that would be cool to see. If I'm going a little quick, I, like I said, I apologize. I just wanna, don't wanna make this super long. So this is probably people talking about the shows and people attended, people who worked there, people who worked with him. I know ever, like ver a lot of different reporters were there from all over the country. Triumph in Vegas, the post show. So this is after he, I know this is after he, I, can't, I read this little part. It's after he came off the stage and how Elvis felt, he, how he felt amazing and all that. And this is the press conference right after the show. I think it happened like sometime in the very early hours. So yeah, sometime after midnight on August 1st. So right after his show, he went out for an interview. And they probably had to add the party, obviously, with a whole bunch of people. So that's cool. Here's some of the questions that were asked of him. That Joe Esposito and his father with him. Fats Domino. He just passed away a few years ago, or a year ago at least. It's just crazy. A guy from that era was still alive. Who was around a little bit before Elvis. Neat. Victory, the post show celebration. Talk of the town. So here's a whole bunch of reviews from different people. As you can see, we got Lund we got one from London. The Las Vegas Sun, Nevada State Journal, we got Variety, Billboard, just so many people across the board. The New York Times. So The New Yorker. Rolling Stone even. Well that's in nineteen seventy. That's probably they probably did this February. Nineteen seventy engagement. So close with the king. One of the press interviews. Cool. That's a menu also. I want to say this is from uh, August of 70. I almost acquired that from somebody. I should have bought it. I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, the aftermath. It's probably talking about how stuff started happening after that for him. So... I think we're almost done with the whole wide world. As you can see, that's from 1970. I mean, look at these pictures. Look, look at all these legends in the picture. We got Frank Sinatra. We got Nancy. We got Fred Astaire sitting there. I mean, like there was nothing. This this is an era that will never come back. All these, all, so much great talent. You know. I mean, there's a lot of great talent today. There's great talent today, but just it was it just seemed more genuine back then. I don't know. That's obviously that's the way it is. And it looks like a picture from Elvis on tour. Elvis for everyone. Very good book. Very good book. I totally recommend it. Um, like I said, if you can get your hands on it, you should. 
1969 Las Vegas Concert Index. Okay, this part is really interesting. It has lists is almost every show, and it tells you if there's a bootleg um, available for official or not. You know, either from FTD or Fort Baxter. It's really interesting. Um, so if you want to acquire other shows, you can reference this. Even though this is about 10 years behind now, probably still a really good guide. See, like, or how some, it's only a few appeared on ones like this, like CD Box, Today, Tomorrow, and Forever, I have that. So, it doesn't matter, because now, it's going to be all in one place, so, pretty cool. The audio reco audience recordings, these are the ones that were known at the time. I don't know if it's been different since then. All right, and here's the last page, acknowledgments, closing with a nice photo of Elvis right there. So yeah, you know what, people, that is the whole book. Oh, there we go, there's another one right there. Ending a show, probably. Well, you know what, people, I hope you all enjoyed this book. Um, it's a great book, I totally recommend you get it. I will try to put all those links that I mentioned on the bottom of this video. Thank you all for watching, I'm going to sign off before I run out of space, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. So see you later and bye.